Okay, so part two of my supermarket series, and I'm gonna be looking at, at the moment, I'm gonna be looking at Gaviscon. And the reason that I'm picking on Gaviscon is because it's something that people really commonly come into clinic and say that they use, because they have a little bit of acid reflux or indigestion. Now, this is definitely not something that we recommend in the clinic. And the reason for this, it's actually one of those adverts that I get, sh I, I shout at the telly. I don't watch telly because I shout at the adverts. And you know in the advert, you may have seen it, there's the little fireman and they're sort of putting out the fire from the stomach. Well, the problem with that is that we actually need that fire. And sort of, the, the, the problem with Gaviscon is it's doing the con contradictory job to what we actually want it to do. So the science behind why we get things like indigestion, unless you have got underlying you know, other medical reasons, but for the most part, is because we don't have enough acid. So, you know, in your stomach, we have a little puddle of liquid which is made up of acid and enzymes and when we eat our food this acid and enzymes start to break it down okay and what happens is if we don't have enough of this because of stress or because of eating the wrong foods or from taking Gaviscon when we put the food in the body can't dissolve it it gets into a panic and it puts this um, a liquid to the top of the stomach which means it's then very easy for it to come up and of course then what happens is we come along shove in a load of Gaviscon and actually cause more of a problem so in clinic we definitely recommend people take digestive aids so either acid or enzyme and next time you have your indigestion just try a little bit of apple cider vinegar see if that works or if that doesn't work try a bit of bicarb of soda because it might be that you need the enzyme balancing or you need the acid but it's very unlikely that your body is yelling for Gaviscon